Hey everybody, it's Ben Murphy with the Deuce Kirk team at Keller Williams Commonwealth. Welcome back to Living in Lexington. Today's episode, I'm going to do another subdivision neighborhood, top best neighborhood series, uh, going back to Georgetown, Kentucky once again. Today, we're going to talk to you about a neighborhood called the Sutton Place. All right, so here we are. We're looking at the Sutton Place. So for those of you who've never seen this before, this is nextdoor.com. It's a really cool little website, actually. And um, it's kind of like Facebook for your neighborhood. That's the best way I could honestly describe it. Um, I know some Facebooks have like neighborhood groups. You should definitely join those too. But this is pretty cool. This is, um, again, nextdoor.com. And, you know, they talk about kind of interest in the neighborhood, lost and found, classified. So, um, their own little marketplace recommendations goes off of, you know, us census bureau information and things like that. And there's like a, a chat board. So you can literally, all you gotta do is set up an account. You can get it on your app, on your phone. Uh, I definitely recommend you check it out. Even if you don't live here in Kentucky, it's, it's all over the country. It's got all the States in the United States. So you should definitely check it out. But this is kind of using Google and its own little mapping device. So just to kind of show you, Sutton Place is not a large subdivision, okay? And actually sits right next to another subdivision. Looking for the name of it. Can't, it's not jumping out at me right now, but Violet's Trace, okay? So Violet's Trace subdivision, which is a very large subdivision. It's something we'll definitely check out here in the near future. But there's also Fox Run Neighborhood, which is literally like in production. So brand new neighborhood coming in the future. Definitely going to want to check that out. but. Um, you know, it's, it's really cool. Like I said, it's a tiny subdivision. There's the tour video is very, very short, <laughs> a few minutes long. And we, and we, we kind of blitz right through it. So let's look at Google, um, again, I mean, right here again, not very large, but it's very quiet. It's kind of off this, uh, lemons mill road. You know, it kind of becomes a very country road very, very quickly. Once you get past the highway right here, it's just country. Okay, and you can get hit this and Newtown Pike will take you all the way to Lexington. So it's kind of like a back road, back way to get to Lexington. I, I took it today, actually, when I filmed this and filmed it. And so it takes you all the way past Ironworks Pike and it'll actually take you to the highway. So if you got to take the highway beyond that, again, I think it's it's a cool thing because I can't tell you there have been wrecks on this highway and you're just stuck, nowhere to go. If you know ahead of time, you can just jump over here versus trying to jump on the highway. You can't get to the highway from there. You just got to go north. You got to go almost the opposite direction of where you want to go. So, you know, you can kind of decide what you want to do. You know, I think Newtown Pike will get you there relatively quick. I think it's a little bit safer too, but that's just me. So just to kind of show you where it is, Georgetown, downtown two miles away in previous subdivision videos. I've talked about um, how all the different subdivisions you're not far. I mean, this is literally two miles, two miles more. You're at the other end of the city. So it's literally five miles long, five miles wide. That's the best way to describe it. So just to kind of, again, kind of show you what, what you're near uh, Kroger, big, huge shopping center. For those of you who are from out of town, it's like Publix. It's a food lion. That's the best way I could describe it for you. So if you're not from the Midwest and you don't know what that is, it's a big, huge grocery store. I mean, it's pretty, pretty good. And so again, convenience wise, if you're trying to get to downtown, I mean, you're 10 minutes away easily. And the cool thing about this, if you've got to go to the other side of Georgetown, this McClellan circle will literally go all the way around the city parts, and get you wherever you need to go. So Something, again, to think about if you're trying to look for something that's a little bit more convenient on top of, you know, safety and good value, good homes, good neighbors. And there's also a nice little gas station, Shell gas station right there. It actually is a little nice gas station. They can serve food and stuff like that. But tons and tons of events and activities to do in Georgetown, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, we can go different directions on this to kind of show you what's what's all around here, just about anything you think of, you're going to find it along this road. Okay. So this main road right here, again, you zoom in, you'll see 
you know, Frank's Donuts, good donut stores, Axby's, there's the community hospital right there. Dave's Blazing Barbecue, I've heard about them actually. Georgetown Middle School's right there in the center. Okay, you're next to Georgetown College, you're not too far from that. It's a small um, NAIA level college. I know some friends that went there, really, really enjoyed it. Small school, small class sizes. Again, you know, this is uh, kind of an area that I'm more familiar with. It's up here. My in-laws kind of live not too far from this spot. Uh, it's, got, it's got a little bit of shopping. Zoom in a little bit. You got Lowe's, Kohl's, Tractor Supply, Buffalo Wild Wings, Pepe's Mexican, Cattleman's Roadhouse. You know, you just kind of keep going along this little road right here. The Peddler's Mall, awesome little movie theater right here. Big, huge RV storage. It's got a huge RV shopping storage, uh, place which kind of blew me away when I first saw it. It is huge. It's got the biggest American flag I think I've ever seen in my life. Sleep outfitters. Again, there's, there's tons of stuff out here. Camping world, that's probably who I was really thinking about. But yeah, no, oh gosh, the more you zoom in, the more you see stuff. I got to do a video about downtown Georgetown because there is cute little stuff, cute shops, good restaurants. There is a good restaurant that we ate down here. It's been about a year since we ate there, so the name escapes me. But I bet you if I zoomed in just a little bit, it would pop out at me. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not. That's all right. Oh, I think it was Rodney's on, on Broadway. That sounds right. So don't want to spend too much time on this. I just wanted to kind of show you Georgetown. I mean, it's, you know, it's not the size of Lexington for sure. Uh, but again, you're outside. It's got Toyota. It's got opportunities for jobs, education. It's, it's, it's got everything that you need. And if you're trying to work inside of Lexington and live outside of it, I mean, I just showed you, you got multiple main roads to get you to Lexington, not just the highway. Okay. Newtown Pike will get you all the way to the, to the downtown Lexington. Okay. Again, you can jump on the highway, get around, get to the backside of Lexington if you need to, or if you got to go to Richmond, cool thing is I'll show you this and then we'll get off. I zoom out. There's Louisville. You can jump on 64 and get to Frankfurt or state capital. If you got to work in the capital, Shelbyville is another big area, but yeah, I mean, you can literally, Nope. Didn't want to do that. You can see, didn't mean to zoom in on Louisville, Kentucky. But I mean, it's right here. That's your neighborhood. If I zoom out even more, you want to go on an adventure, go to Cincinnati, which is about 45, 50 minutes up the road. So let's jump in the car. We'll show you the neighborhood real quick. See what you all think about it. Hey, everybody, before we continue on, do me a quick favor. You got to hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's going to help us get those videos out there. It's going to help you more than anybody find more information about Georgetown, Kentucky.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. This has been Murphy, and I do appreciate you for everyone who's ever liked the video, shared the video, subscribed to our channel. Um, I hope you got to see Sutton Place and got to see a little bit of what it looks like. It is a very nice little neighborhood. It's in a safe area. It's not too far from the highway. I think it's a, a decent location. It's a real nice location for those who are trying to research more about Georgetown, Kentucky. If you want to learn more, leave me a comment, shoot me an email, shoot me a text. We'll set up a virus consultation and we'll do everything we can to help you make Georgetown, Kentucky your next home. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Murphy with the Deuce Kirk team at Keller Williams Commonwealth. Thanks for watching.